Now that I find the telltale signs of a lesion in her white line, I was feeling around the heel bulb of her foot to see if there is a cavity. But at this point, it's very difficult to tell if there is or not. But that is all just about to change. Jeez, that is absolutely rock solid. From her foot being up off the ground, most likely. Anyway, ignoring the slight malfunction there, there is clearly a huge cavity hidden underneath what we can see right now. And that cavity, as you saw in the very beginning of this video, is absolutely huge. It's my job to completely uncover it, not because I need to see what's under there, but I need to stop anything from being trapped within this cow's foot and making this problem even worse than it already is. We all now know there is a cavity within this hoof, but none of us know exactly how far it stretches. There must be a huge hole up in there, and feel it all the way around our foot. Trimming a hoof like this takes time and patience. You need to take your time and take slither by slither, until you can be absolutely 100% certain you know what lies beneath. Wow. You can see all the way inside our foot, look at that. Look how huge that cavity is. We were worried that this cow actually had a sore leg because of the way she was standing. I think her leg is inflamed, but I think that has come off, this problem being so bad. If I push through that like normal, I might slice deeper than I want to, which is why I'm using that little sawing motion. Can I grab some floral, please, Kevin? <laughs> I'm just gonna try and cut through this piece here, but it's really, really soft and flexible. Look, it wants to flex away from my knife as I'm cutting it, which is why I'm, again, using that kind of sawing technique. Get down in between the claws and then pull this away. It lets me get my next few cuts in as well now because I can get in there. Right, we'll give this a wash out. We're going to reduce the height of this with the grinder so that I can strip away more layers of this hoof horn and reveal what is underneath here whilst also getting ready for this to take a block. I actually get my finger in behind this hoof horn here, meaning that it needs to come away. You can see the heart of the lesion here, that white mass on her corium. That is basically decaying tissue from the fight that the cow has had with this raging infection. We've now stripped almost the entire sole away from this cow's hoof capsule. We've removed a huge amount of hoof horn, but it was needed. 
If we think back earlier on, we could look inside the hoof capsule because we could see the hoof was not attached to the corium. All we've done is remove the overburdening hoof horn so that now nothing can be trapped within the sole, making this problem even worse. The block is going to take the vast majority of this cow's weight so that every time she steps, she's not hurting herself. And the corium can begin to regenerate and regrow good, sound hoof horn. A cow like this will recover fairly quickly from a problem like this, as long as you catch her in time. Which I'm glad to say, on this occasion, we have. And as you can see, she's already yes. beginning to use her block.